You know a Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddie. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. I want to make homicide. You know you made it. Fifty bucks? Do they think I made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. I want to make homicide. You know you've made it if you can get that desk. You want to find someone to look after me in the No way! What the hell is the LAGD up to you guys? Drink. I got the jitters again. Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You better come and get me. <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, and says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> There's a little snake. That's him in the back, Cole. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Be careful. He likes guns. Do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this cruise character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going? You believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score.
at 
Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> Now we're getting somewhere. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? You hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? This guy, EJ, seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? You gotta be kidding me. We're driving this? Jesus, Cole, what's wrong with a good old fashioned black and white? Crother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. Been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot tempered son of a bitch. Tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. A 
I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Start talking, Erto. I want the names of everyone involved. What difference does it make what I tell you? I'm still going to jail, no? Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. It's a real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. You're behind the wheel. Fine, where are we headed? Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over-seasoning the soup in this place. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. What is going on? LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, chubby? We found at least 30 cans. All sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please.
Any name on that list that rings a bell? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I I'm not familiar with them all. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. You must suspect someone, Mr. Parnell. Are you sure it isn't someone who stole some of my labels? That would be pretty easy to do. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. Why don't you keep quiet? You might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. Wow, that sure looks like a beauty. Well, you don't see that every day. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? 
Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book, just there on the desk. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? I'd like a private word with your dispatcher, if you don't mind. Sure, go right ahead. I'll be over here when you need me. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. it. Brings me luck. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to Immigration Services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night. Or he gets it canned up. From here it gets sent all over the country. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No. Not me. Juan Garcia Cruz is dead, Lunkhead. His brother works here nights. What can you tell us, Sergio? I'm just a dispatcher. Juan was crazy. People love guns. That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks, I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let them unload the goods first. Now? Let's get them.
All right, move. Move! Let's go! Everyone into position. Got your back. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover up. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Weapons on the ground, now. Go, go. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. <laughs> 